Yo, what is going on, everybody? Snides here. We're back with another video. And today, we're going to be talking about Battle Royale and the quickest way to get through this program and obtain some of these best cards in the game. Now, I want to say this before we get into the video. I have never gone 12-0. I probably never will. I am not that good of a player to go 12-0 consistently like some of these players out there. This video is dedicated just to finishing the program and getting those most important cards out there like Ken Griffey and Jorge Posada. Some of these some of these rewards that you get in BR, some of these cards are the best cards in the game. Vita Blue, I don't know, I've just never really been a big fan of him, but look at this, Ken Griffey Jr. and Jorge Posada, 99 overall. I'm not really sure who I wanna go with here, but they're both really, really good cards. Some of the best cards in the game. Hands down, Jorge Posada is the best catcher in the game. And we can get these basically for free. And if you don't want them, you can sell them. So let's get into the Battle Royale program here. Let's see what we can do to finish this quickly. So here we are. We're in a uh, BR run right now. We're actually one on one. I'm going to forfeit it at some point. But I want to jump into the Battle Royale program and show you guys what we're working with here. So this is your money bag right here. This is where this is the program that you want to grind to get this flawless program reward pack which is at 100 BR points. So as you can see here, we can get Jorge Posada, King Griffey Jr. and Vita Blue. Now, how do you get these BR points? Obviously you get them by winning games. You get one per game that you win. Uh, if we go to the first tab right here and go to BR missions, each win is one point. If you go 12 and 0, obviously you get 20 points, but obviously if you go 12 and 0, you're gonna get that flawless pack. Now, if you guys go 12 and 0, good job, kudos to you. Now you can get Ken Griffey and Jorge Posada uh, by getting 12 and 0 and completing the program so do keep that in mind if you are capable of going 12 and 0 you can complete the program and get the 12 and 0 reward to get both of those cards now another one that i recommend here this is one that i actually get a lot um for whatever reason if you are undefeated they're gonna match you up against a lot of really good players i have noticed this myself i don't know if you guys have noticed it once you lose one game you don't really run into those sweats as much as you do when you're undefeated undefeated in a battle royale entry so uh, win nine games, it's repeatable, you get 10 BR points, which is huge. This is one, like I said before, this is one that I get all of the time. So if you guys are in a BR run and you guys are like four and one or something like that, don't quit just because you're gonna get, you're not gonna get 12 and 0. Don't quit, run it out. See if you can keep going. See if you can get to those 12 wins. Like I said before, the matchmaking changes for whatever reason. Once you win or lose a game, the matchmaking does change, I feel like. so. Keep grinding out these entries. Do not quit when you lose one game. So now we're going down the BR missions that are not repeatable. Uh, 4,000 PXP in a single entry. So this is parallel XP or it looks like here, it doesn't look like it's any uh, particular player. You can get PXP for your entire team. So that's 10 easy points right there. Tally 50 total bases in one entry. That's honestly not too hard. You hit a lot of home runs in BR. 15,000 PXP. Uh, I don't think that's in a single entry. Just just read through all of these missions. Make sure you know what you're grinding. Write them down if you have to, if you forget. That way you can focus on these uh, specific missions. Now, underneath that, we've got the exclusive BR missions. This is for your silvers, your golds, and your diamonds. Now, these are player-specific uh, PXP that you have to earn for each one of these players. Now, as you can see here, for silvers, it is only 500 PXP. You guys are going to get that really, really quick. And it is four points each now you're going to see these guys in the draft it's the first three rounds i believe and you're going to want to make sure you are drafting the correct one if we're only going for the program here and we're not going for 12 and 0 you want to just grind out the players that you do not have completed yet so here's the gold gold is 500 pxp as well and then for diamond it is 500 pxp so make sure you're drafting the correct person you don't want to uh, be grinding a diamond that's already completed once you get all of these done that is a lot of br points so just by grinding out those missions for those players you're going to be getting 48 total points in the br program which is going to get you a diamond right here and then i believe you get another diamond right here and then all of these gold players which you'll need for collections and you can sell them as well for extra stubs and then of course as you are grinding those out you're going to finish a lot of these br missions as well so before you jump into each game each entry whatever jump into these missions and see where you are at all right, so now we're going to get into the drafting part of BR, as that is very, very important. You want to make sure you're balancing out your lineup as best as possible. You don't want to have too many righties. You don't want to have too many lefties. You want to balance that out just right. A couple things to look out for. You want to look for players that are playing up. Stay away from players that are playing down. 
and make sure you take the supercharged players when you get that opportunity supercharge if you guys are unfamiliar with that those are players that are playing very very well if they are a bronze card they can get supercharged all the way up to a 99 if a player gets supercharged they go up to a 99 so if you see a supercharged player it is a free diamond round for you you don't want to take them every time players that are playing up or down basically what that is that is i believe for the matchup for that day so that changes daily um so you're going to want to keep an eye on that if a player has a good matchup they're going to play up if they have a bad matchup they're going to play down so you want to make sure you're keeping that in mind as well your first four rounds three of them they're all going to be the same they're going to be for the diamond tier for those missions i was showing you the gold tier and the silver tier those rounds will never change you're going to make sure you're taking the players that you need to grind the pxp to finish those missions that first round we're going to show you right here is going to be a high overall diamond player and we got a good one here when you're picking these players do not ever pick pitchers okay these high diamond players are going to be the players that generate the most amount of runs for you so you want to take the best one and we are hands down taking chipper jones nice switch bat really good power and contact on both sides all right so the second round this is the diamond tier for those missions i was telling you guys about as i have not grinded any of those out i could take any of these guys some of these players are pretty good this alex hall nasty i mean it's hard to find a pretty good catcher so i'm gonna go with alex hall and put him in as our catcher we got the gold round here um i need a good lefty bat so i'm gonna go with alex verdugo so we got a lefty and two switch bats in here really really good so now we're in the silver round this card is ridiculous i cannot believe that we have to grind pxp for that dude <laughs> he's gonna get shelled but we're gonna go with this doug hebert as we have not used him yet all right so now we're into the actual drafting part of the uh draft here um got two switch hits and one lefty and then for our pitching we've got one reliever so before we get into this we're going to talk about waste picks okay there's going to be some bronze rounds the common rounds of course these are the cards that you're not going to use so we're going to use our waste picks on those uh rounds so starting pitching what i like to do i like to have a three-man rotation when it comes to pitching right so there's going to be three pitchers that i'm drafting here as our starters who's probably going to be a silver maybe a high bronze uh, we got three guys for our rotation so that means that we have two we have two waste picks that we can use on starting pitching right all right so for our bullpen if we need to use a waste pick we can use it for our bullpen but i don't like to use that one as a waste pick um for our bench what we want to do here as we know br has changed a little bit we've got dh implemented into the game so now we're not really going to be using our bench players as much as we were in the past so for the bench we have one waste pick that we can use so uh if we go to our bench here we've got four spots that are open i like to have one righty that can hit lefties really well you like to have one lefty that can hit righties really well and you like to have a guy with speed in those situations where you need a fast base runner and then that last spot can be a waste pick for you so we've got a total of right now we've got three waste picks and then all the rest are gonna go to our bullpen if we need to do it so our first round here is a diamond round we got kind of lucky right there and like i said before we're not using pitchers for diamonds so we're either going to go with ian kensler here or we're going to go with ronald acuna jr and i'm going to go with ronald as he has a really really good swing and he's got some good power that's another thing to keep in mind we're playing on all-star right so power is way more important it's the most important stat when it comes to taking a hitter you want to make sure you keep an eye on the power stats for some of these bronzes some of them can be sneaky good so we'll go with ronald right here all right, so we've got our first bronze round here. We've got two players that are playing up on the Angels. These guys have a good matchup today. Aaron Loop, this is a pretty good option right here. One, he's a lefty. Lefties are very valuable when it comes to BR, and he's got a pretty good pitch mix too. We've got Patrick Sandoval here that's pretty good too, but I just don't like his pitch mix. So right here, I'm going to go with Aaron Loop. He's playing up. He's got a funky release and he's a lefty and he's got a pretty good pitch mix so we're gonna go with Aaron Loop right there we've got a back-to-back -back bronze round this is the lower bronze round too so we're probably gonna go with a uh, waste pick right here um don't count these out though 
some of these guys have some sneaky power and you want to make sure you check their stats before um, you do anything like that. But we're going to go ahead and actually take the starting pitcher right here as one of our ways to picks. All right, so we got back to back bronze rounds here, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to have to go with another waste pick here because I really don't like any of these players. Eric Hosmer, he, he's okay, but he's a lefty. I don't know why he has really good contact against lefties. I guess he's really good against lefties, but I don't like lefty lefty, so I'm not going to go Hosmer right here. I'm just going to go with Kyle Hendricks. So now I've got three spots left in the starting pitch and rotation. Any, any starting pitcher that I tar take here is going to be part of our starting pitcher rotation. So we got to be careful with that. So our next round here is another silver round. We've got Whit Merrifield, just a contact hitter. No, uh, no power, really. Tim Anderson, kind of the same thing. So I'm going to go with either Pablo Lopez or Camilo Duvall. Duvall is a good option here. The only thing that sucks with him now, he doesn't have that goofy release that we all know and love from Duvall anymore. So he's not really the best option here. I'm going to go with Pablo Lopez because we need a good starting pitcher. And I believe, no, he's a righty. I don't know why I thought he was a lefty. All right, so we got another low bronze round here, but these guys are not the worst. Uh, Brett Phillips sucks. Zach Grinke, no. Uh, Joe Mantiply, he's not a bad option here. He throws left-handed. Uh, but I'm going to go with Bobby Dalbuck. He's a right-handed hitter, and he hits lefties really, really well. He's got that A3 power against uh, lefties. He's going to be our bench bat. I think that's a good option right there. We'll throw him on the bench. All right, we got another gold round here. This is going to be a good one. Uh, we've got two pitchers here. Honestly, for golds, I'm the same way. I don't want to take pitchers here unless I absolutely have to. And right here, I think we got two really good options right here. Marcus Simeon, really good. He's got a good swing. And then Brian Reynolds. I'm going to go with another switch hit right here. Brian Reynolds is playing up to an 84 overall. And I have him paralleled up to parallel one. That's another thing to keep in mind. Parallels do count for this. So if you have a player that's like parallel five or something like that, it, it counts. So I'm going to go with Brian Reynolds right here. All right, another silver round here. We've got Whit Merrifield again. They really want me to take him. We've got Miguel Rojas. Not very good. I already know who I'm taking here. We got George Kirby, who honestly isn't a horrible pick as well. But I want to go with the reliever here, Brooks Raley. He's a lefty. Good pitch mix. Brooks Raley is pretty much a BR legend. We got to go with Brooks Raley here. Another silver round, and I really like this pick. We got Whit Merrifield again? What is going on? <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we've got a starting pitcher in Logan Webb, who's not a bad option. And then we've got to roll this Chapman. A lot of people forget that this guy is a silver now. And he's, you know, he's not as good as what he once was. But as a reliever, I like what I'm seeing here. He's a lefty. He's got a pretty good pitch mix, and he's still got that goofy release that everyone hates. So we roll this Chapman. It's going to be in... Oh my god, I got Whit Merrifield again. I am not taking Whit Merrifield. My goodness. Okay, another silver round here. I think I'm going to go pitching again here. We've got Zach Eflin. Pretty good pitch mix. I might go with him. Dylan Tate, who is a reliever that only has three pitches. I think we're just going to go with Zach here. All right, we got a low bronze round here, but not terrible. Not it can't. It's not the worst thing in the world. I think what we're going to do is go with Odor here. Um... I don't know. He's pretty good against righties, but I don't know. He, we'll just kind of keep him on the bench. That might be a waste pick for the bench. All right, we got another silver round here, and we're going to stack up on the pitching again. Another really, really good BR pitcher right here is Adam, Adam Adovino. Now, he is playing down to a 76, but that really doesn't change a whole lot as this guy has really good pitch mix. He's got that goofy release. People have a hard time hitting uh, Adam Adovino. I really like how our bullpen's looking right now. Uh, we got a bronze round here. Okay. Um, right here, I think we go with AJ Puck. He's a left-handed pitcher. Left-handed pitchers are really good to come by. He's got a pretty good pitch mix as well. This is a good bronze card to have. I really love where our bullpen's sitting right now. Uh, another bronze round. This is going to be a waste pick probably. Uh, we've got, what do we got? We got one more starting pitcher that we need to get here, right? For the three man rotation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and waste a relieve pick right here as our relievers are looking nasty. Uh, now we got the gold round here. This is an interesting one. We've, we've got two relievers here that are good. Uh, Christian Javier. Um, no, I don't really like him. Xander Bogarts. He's playing up to an 83. He's got really good contact and I think he has just enough power to get the job done. Uh, but 
Oh, this is tough. I wish I had a power bat right here because I would take him over Johan Duran. Yeah, he's pretty good too. He's really tough to hit. A lot of people don't like hitting against him. This is tough. I This is so tough right here. I got to go with Johan Duran. If, if that was a power bat at the gold spot, I would have taken him. All right, we got another common around here. We're going to use it as a waste pick. Uh, we don't want to use him at all. So we do want to keep that in mind while we're drafting. We do need a shortstop. Uh, we got a silver around here. Okay, so we got this Kande Senga. I think I said that right. <laughs> He's playing up to an 83. So that might be the pick. Brandon Belt here might be a really, really good bench option to uh, hit against righties. Uh, Rosario, not good. And Suzuki, not good. It's going to be between Belt and Senga here. I think I'm going to go with Senga. He's got a fork ball in his pitch mix. That is crazy. He's playing up to an 83. We're going to go with him. All right, so we got a gold round here. Uh, we do have this Logan Wade that is sitting here. This guy is part of the program. You guys will do want to keep that in mind. You can get those uh, mission cards again later on in the draft. So if you want to double up on that, you can. That might be what we do here. And we do need a shortstop. So we might go with him. You got Duvall here with ridiculous power. Oh man, this is this this is a BR legend right here. This Chris uh yeah, Chris Taylor is really really good too. So this is what I'm going to do. Um I'm going to take Duvall, okay? And we're going to put him at third and then Chipper Jones is going to play shortstop for us. So you saw what I did there. You want to plan out what you're doing while you're drafting. You want to know what your lineup's going to look like before you jump into this cuz you don't want to draft a whole team and then be forced to use a common or something like that. So we know what we're going to be doing once this draft is done. We got another silver round here. Uh, we've got Kyle Schwarber in here who could be a really good bench bat for us. Or he could play first base for us because we do need a first base. And we got Bobby Dalbeck here that we planned to use as a bench bat. Um, I don't really like anybody else in here. So I got to go Kyle Schwarber. I'm going to be putting Kyle Schwarber at first. And then Dalbeck's going to go on to our bench. So now we've got three rounds left. We got a silver, bronze, and a common. Got to be careful here. Um, right here, I think you just take the best player, Nolan Gorman. This is going to be our lefty bench bat. All right, he hits righties pretty well. So in clutch situations, when we need to put in a lefty, we can put in Nolan Gorman. I like that pick. We got the uh, common round here. Don't really care about this round. Doesn't really matter who we take. And our final round is not a very good round at all. We got Cal Rayla with good power. We've got this guy that we can use for the mission program. We got another one of these guys. He's got good contact, but I don't like his power at all. And then we got Lars Newtbar. So honestly, any of these guys are not the best pick in the world. So I think what I'm going to do here... I'm just gonna take the card that I need to grind missions on. We can use them whenever we think we need to use them. But here we go. We're gonna go ahead and set our lineup here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do what we talked about earlier. We're gonna put Chipper Jones at shortstop, and then we're gonna put Adam Duvall at the third base spot instead of DH. All right. So a couple things we gotta switch up here. Bobby Dalbeck, he is not gonna be in our starting lineup. Kyle Schwarber is gonna be in our starting lineup. There we go. All right, so what do we have here? We've got Odor that we need to take out, and then we've got this Garcia card. Let's go to our bench here. Uh, the Sogard card is going to go ahead, and that's actually worked out for us. He's going to play second for us, but we're going to be getting uh, PXP missions done out of the way. Now we've got how many of those cards? we got one, two. No, we've got three, and then I think we got a pitcher too. We got he Hebert in there as well. I mean, we're going to be able to get a lot of these missions done just in this uh, BR run right here. So I really like what I'm seeing right here. We got to get this DH out of here. Uh, our DH is probably going to have to be Bobby Delbuck. And the good thing about this, if I don't like this Bobby Delbuck card against uh, the matchup that we have, say he's facing a righty, right? We can go in here and then we can sub in Nolan Gorman who hits righties pretty well. Uh, we can sub in Odor if we want to. And we want to keep an eye on some of these cards as the days go on. We're not going to finish an entire BR run just in one sitting. The, some of these guys might have a good matchup that day and they might be playing up. Uh, I like our pitching rotation. We've got three good pitchers. So we've got Pablo Lopez. We've got Zach Eflin. We've got this Kode Sanga that has a fork ball. 
I like our pitching rotation here. It's not the greatest in the world, but it will get the job done. But I really, really like our bullpen here. We've got this Hebert. We've got Aaron Loop, Brooks Raley, Aroldis Chapman, Adam Adovino, AJ Puck, all of these guys, Johan Duran. I'm going to use all of these relievers except for this Braxton Garrett. So in our pitching rotation, if we don't like the rotation here for Zach Eflin, if we don't like Pablo Lopez, I can start one of my relievers. If you guys didn't know this, relievers come into the game with higher stamina than starters do. I'm not sure why. So you can get away with starting these relief pitchers if you have enough to use. And right in this case, we have plenty. So we're probably going to be starting a lot of these guys. And then when it comes to setting the lineup, this is what I like to do. I like to have a guy that has some speed uh, batting first, preferably a guy that is switch hitting. So you can jump on your opponent quickly here. Uh, so I'm going with Brian Reynolds as our speedster. Second spot, I like to hit them with a one-two punch right here. I want to get on the board early when it comes to BR because these are only three inning games. You want to get out in front fast. So what I like to do is have a nice little one-two punch right here. I like to use my diamonds right here. I'll use Ronald Acuna and then I'll put Chipper in the three hole. I want to make sure that that 99 overall is going to get an at bat in the first inning because like I said before, you want to jump on your opponent quick. And then what I like to do in the four hole, I like to use a high gold that has really good power as a cleanup hitter, of course. And then for the fifth spot, you're basically starting over. You're going to be starting at the top of the lineup here. I like a contact bat right here. So I've got this Eric Sogard. And then we've got Alex Hall batting here in a switch hitting spot. Has pretty good power. Hopefully Sogard can get on base and we can get an RBI right here. And then Kyle Schwarber, we've got a power bat right here. Uh, Bobby Dalbeck, uh, I probably will just put Verdugo right here. Bobby Dalbeck is going to bat last as he is probably our worst hitter. But if we're facing a lefty, I mean, D Bobby Dalbeck's got a good matchup. Uh, Verdugo is going to be batting eighth. Pretty good contact. But I think the most important part is the top of the order right here. You want to start with a fast at bat right here that can get you a hit. And then you want a one-two punch right here. You're going to make a lot of people quit right here. If you can get a hit, a hit home run and then you got a four hole guy with a bunch of power that could be another home run it's gonna make a lot of people quit i think it's a good structure that in my opinion is the fastest way to get through these programs and structure your lineup to have the most amount of success so i hope this video helped you guys out if you guys enjoyed it throw a like on the video and subscribe to the channel that's gonna be it for me i'm out of here peace